If you're looking for an edge-of-your-seat thriller, go no further than the Jonathan Grave series by John Gilstrap. The series has been filled with rocket-paced suspense, according to Jeffrey Deaver, and received positive reviews worldwide. The latest title is Final Target. In it, Jonathan Grave, who's a freelance hostage rescue specialist, is sent to Mexico to rescue a DEA agent, DEA agent who's been captured by the drug cartels. And everything goes wrong. It turns out he's been set up, and as he has to flee out of Mexico, he ends up hooking up with a bunch of or orphans from an orphanage that are also in danger that he has to take out with them over 150 miles of jungle. When writing the first Jonathan Grave novel, Gilstrap realized that he had a character who could live on beyond the first book. My first Grave book was actually the sixth book that I had written. So I did four standalones and I did a nonfiction. And then with the Grave story, I realized for the first time that I had a character that I could sustain over a series of books. As a freelance hostage rescue specialist, he's also wealthy. His father was a criminal. He's a former Delta operator. He runs a school for the children of incarcerated parents called Resurrection House. So I set up the world so that there were many, many opportunities for me to develop other stories. And so far it's worked really well. The fast-paced thrillers seem unnatural to be made into movies. And Gilstrap has already been involved with four feature films. I've been involved with features since 1996, none of them have been made, um, but four of my books have been either purchased or optioned, and I've also adapted other writers' works as screenplays. None of them have been produced. One of the producers on Six Minutes to Freedom, which is the nonfiction book I wrote, and the film version of that is supposed to be produced sometime this year, but it was supposed to be produced sometime last year, so, you know, you never know on these things. It's, it's a bizarre process. Nobody really understands. My agent in Hollywood told me one time that for a movie to get made, a million things have to go right with nothing going wrong. Gilstrap started writing in high school and served as the editor of his high school's paper. Over the years, he's worked as a firefighter and an explosives and hazardous materials expert. All the while, he never stopped writing. My background is in explosives and hazardous materials. I was a firefighter for 15 years, um, a safety engineer on the, the explosives and, and hazardous materials side of things. Uh, I did that for 35 years. That's what my master's degree is in safety engineering. So I didn't really, I didn't sell my first book until I was 38 years old. So the first book I sold was the fourth book that I'd written. The other three just sucked. But the good news is, each one sucked less than the preceding one, and then at four was the magic number. So that was called Nathan's Run. It was sold in 1996. It was, it was a huge hit around the world, uh, translated in 23 languages, I think now. And then suddenly, I had a new career. And it, it, it's, it's, been, it's an amazing ride. The beginning of a project, um, I don't outline so much as I start with a premise and I know what the ending, I have to know what the ending is going to be, otherwise I can't write to it, and a couple of set pieces along the way, but as I go along with the story, it's kind of a voyage of, of discovery for both me and, and for the characters. On a daily basis, you know, it's, it's, it's like a desk job. You know, you go and you sit down, you make stuff up, and, and at the end of the day, you, you get up with a sore back. Gilstrap's novels have been New York Times bestsellers, and Against All Enemies, won the Thriller Award in 2016. A highly sought after speaker at literary events, Gilstrap also teaches seminars on suspense writing. His advice for aspiring writers? Storytelling is a craft, and it's like any other craft. You're building a house, or if you're painting a picture, or whatever the case may be, your early efforts are not going to be of professional quality, but you got to do it. You know, you got to learn how to hammer a nail crooked before you learn how to hammer a nail straight, right? So, um, I tell aspiring anybody, as artists of, of any, uh, uh, any stripe, there's only one way that you can fail. No one can inflict failure on you. You have to declare it by quitting. And the moment you decide that you've had it, then you're done. But as long as you keep going for one more and one more after that, you're still in the game. Hope it stays alive. BCPL spoke with Gilstrap at the Creatures, Crimes, and Creativity Con held every year in the Baltimore area. The 2018 con will take place October 5th through 7th and features keynote speaker Keith R.A. Candido. Details on other speakers and workshops can be found on the con's website, creaturescrimesandcreativity.com.